In this video, I'm going to explain how the Tutor application process within Tutor Cruncher works. So there's a few ways of doing it. Um, you can obviously just create a Tutor profile yourself, manually just go to Tutors and create a new Tutor here. But you can also be a little fancier with it. For that, we have to go to our Dino Tutors website. So our Dino Tutors website, this is just a website where we show all of our integrations and what we can do, um, what you can do with TutorCruncher, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we also have a Become a Tutor link on this website. Let's say we want to become a tutor for Dino Tutors. You can then click this link. This will redirect you to Dino Tutors' own sign-up page. You as a company will have your own sign-up page as well. Um, so yeah, it redirects them to their own tutor, tutor sign-up page, and this is fully customizable with like custom CSS, custom JavaScript to like change the style and colors. Um, yeah, have your logo here to make it like fully aligned with your brand. Then after I've signed up here, uh, an account is created for me. I will receive a welcome email, and I can then log into um, yeah my tutor account for your tutor company. And what I can then do, and for this I'll show you what happens. So if I now go to people and tutors, you can go to the pending tutor tab. This is the tab for the tutors who are still in the application process. Let's just assume that I'm Isabella and I've just signed up via your website. So then a tutor profile is created for her. And yeah, she can log into her account, enter all of her information, so teaching skills, uh, yeah, like subject teaching levels, about her resume, some documents. Um, yeah, and just like basic information, you can also add custom fields to to her page. So let's say like a drop down for her age, as an example. Um, and we explain that in our video about custom fields. So either check that out in the user guide, or I should also include it in the bio of this video. But um, yeah, more information about this process and how it works, what it looks like for the tutor, that you can find that via um, like the, the tutor video. I'll, I'll add a link in the bio for that as well. Um, so yeah, I can view all of our information here now as an admin. So let's say I like her profile. I would like to start working with her. What I can then do is I can invite her for an interview. And this, this is just like a message to make it a little more personal, but this is a like a pre-filled, like default email that will go out to her. And this is just to make it a little more personal. And for example, like, hey, are you available for an interview? Uh, are you available tomorrow? Bit of location, etc. Doesn't really matter. Um, so then I can like invite her for an interview, and you can change the actual email that will go out to her, like the the default email in system settings under communication settings in email definitions and then under interview invitation to tutor you can change it here and this is where the personal message will come so let's go back um, what you can also do is you can also just contact her yourself or send a, a one of email here completely up to you then when you've had the interview, and I'll go as well, you can change your status to approved. And what happens now? She is now in our approved tutor list. And these this is for your active tutors. So for the tutors who are working for you, and like at this point you can like start like planning lessons for them and that kind of stuff. And that is how the tutor application works, tutor application process works within Tutor Country.